Hi there, today we're looking at two awesome lighting products by Elgato. Now Elgato make a range of excellent, professional, great quality products for streamers or casters or people who want to make just excellent videos in general. So that includes, for example, the Elgato Wave 3 microphone, which I use and it's fantastic, fantastic microphone. That also includes the Stream Deck, which we've looked at in the past. that gives you one button access to a lot of things. It includes an Elgato capture card to allow you to capture all the action from your games. So today we're looking at two great lighting solutions. So one is the Elgato key light. So you can tell from the box already these are not <laughs> these are not trivial trivial products. So this is a great um, Wi-Fi enabled light that offers 2800 lumens, bright and dimmable, full spectrum, warm to cold white. As you can see from the picture you can clip it on your computer. Now also the ring light, and this is uh, certainly also another great big box, um, and ring lights have been very uh, popularised by a lot of people. Uh, so this also is Wi-Fi enabled. Let's have a look up to 2500 lumens, uh, wide 2900 to 7000 Kelvin colour range, the close-up video and portrait shooting, uh, industrial grade Osram LEDs, Anyway, these are impressive things. But which one works best for you? And that's what I was interested to know. So that's why we have two. We're going to compare the ring light, which would sit around you, and the key light. And with the key light, even though in this particular picture it's above the guy shining down, uh, you know, your key light could be to the side, where you could have lots of key lights. So anyway, we're going to look at both of these. Thank you. Okay, so I'm assembling the Elgato key light. So it comes with a stand which clamps onto your desk, or I guess clamps onto your computer if you want. Um, this stand is telescopic, so there we go. You can have it this long, or not necessarily that small. And you can see at the top, we can position it in all kinds of different ways and then lock it into place. And here is the lamp itself, which can then um, be positioned portrait or landscape, whatever you like, and it can be above you and can be to the side and with this head you could have it on all kinds of angles, so looking over you or to the side, under you if you want, I don't think that's my best job, angle. Um, anyway, this sits on the pole, power switch on the back, um, and of course, yeah, power switch which has um, several different power blocks and power plugs and a uh, little transformer there I guess yeah okay so this bit plugs into your power plug power point and then this bit plugs into your light um, and once you've done that there's Elgato software you can download which will connect to the device uh, and allow you to control it all right, let's put it together. Okay, so I've assembled the key light, which we'll look at in a minute. But first, the ring light similarly um, has a clamp and all sorts of things. One big difference with the key light, uh, the, sorry, the ring light is, well, you can see it's this wonderfully round light. So it's more designed to frame your face. And you'll see that it has this attachment here. So, I mean, it could plug in behind the monitor and shine on me. Uh, sadly it's not going to go around my monitor, but it has these other attachments, for example this one, which um, can sit portrait or, or uh, horizontally or vertically, uh, portrait or landscape, and you could put your phone in that. There's also this little plug that effectively gives you a bit more height, and then of course you can put your camera or your phone on it again, and so this one, I feel, the ring light, is uh, probably more designed for having your camera right here, right in your face, and you're talking right at the camera, not so much for a computer as I'm using at the moment. So, and of course it uses the same clamp, same accessories, so actually it's all quite interchangeable, which is nice. And also they both use the same software. So that software is the Elgato Control Center, which is available for smartphone, uh, also available on your desktop. The one problem on the desktop that I don't quite like is that it requires, oh no, it's found it fine. <laughs> I was gonna say, I couldn't set up my key lamp on it 
because it um, said I didn't have a Wi-Fi adapter. Which, but once I um, set it up on my phone, it's showing now here in my app, in 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 the desktop app, which is great because what I was going to show you is uh, on the phone. Uh, I can control it here. So let me turn the key lamp on, which is right positioned there. So, whoa, there you go, you can see that light. Now, let me turn the light off in my room. Okay, so actually just to prove there's no light, I'll turn the key light off. Right, so all we've got is the light of the monitor. There's the key light, and this is barely even on. So if I Turn the brightness all the way down, you can see it gets darker, but if I turn the brightness, this is about where it was, and whoa, there's the brightness at maximum brightness, and uh, I can also change the colour temperature, so this is very cool to very warm, and there we go, so lots of great stuff. Um, of course, if you have the, uh, the Stream Deck, just like you can configure your other Agato accessories or even your non-Agato accessories. Similarly, you can have a press of your Steam Deck to maybe set your microphone to a particular um, whatever gain level, set your lamp on, change the brightness, do all sorts of stuff. So this key lamp is on, on the pole, it's behind my computer, it's angled towards me. Of course I could put it in all different places, uh, probably I could maybe a better spot. The difficulty is the clamp. Because it's very rigid and because the clamp so big, the desk I'm on doesn't actually have space for a clamp. I have another little desk besides me. But uh, anyway, that's the key lamp. And you know, you could have many of these key lamps. You don't need just one. You could have one on the side, one in the front, one there. So anyway, this is the key lamp. So again, turned up to maximum brightness. Whoa. And uh, turn my... Oh, my room light is off. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. Yep. Um... Let us now have a look at the ring light. So I'll turn the key lamp off, turn the room light back on. Ah, oh, you can see the key lamp's much better. So, yeah, there we go, very good. It's focusing directly on me. If that was positioned in a better spot, then that would be excellent. In fact, I wonder if you can clamp it to the Elgato microphone stand um, and have it above the mic. Anyway, all sorts of things you can play with and explore with. The point being, key lamp's on, it's awesome. Look how bright it can be. Whoa. And uh, now I'll set up the ring lamp and we'll have a look at that. I've got to remember if my light's on or not, I forget, because this is so, such a bright light. All right, ring light time. Okay. Now I have the ring light assembled. Ring light's in the same spot because I put it on the same mount. Actually, what's really nice is that these accessories use the um, same mount, same power supply, uh, the same app, which is great. So they're interchangeable. You could set up your mounts in all different places and swap the lights around as you need them without having to disassemble everything. So again, let's do the same thing. I've got the Elgato Control Center software here. The ring light is currently on. Let me just turn it off for comparison. Okay, so it's not on. This is just the lighting in the room uh, at night. So I'll turn the ring light back on, turn the light in the room off. Now, the ring light again, this is barely on. So it's at 20% brightness if I turn it down. Okay, turned all the way up. Whoa, that is one bright light. Okay, so let's put it back down a bit. Now, uh, and again, colour temperature, so at the moment it's 4350K, turn it down to 7000K, or turn it up rather, turn it down to 2900K, so you can have cool to warm colours, to whatever suits you, uh, but again, really bright. Now, interestingly, that ring camera, so so the, the first one, uh, sorry, not camera. <laughs> so the key light, as you can see, is a great big light. Shh. The ring light, as you remember, was a circle. It doesn't have the middle, but it's still really quite bright and really quite effective. When I first looked at it, I thought it would be better for having your camera directly at you, but actually it serves quite fine as a as a room light. And you can see, it's quite, even though it's to my up on the right uh, and behind my monitor, you know, it really does do an effective job, I think. It's not, there's not a lot of shading there. 
sorry I'm not the most aesthetic model to demonstrate lighting but um, you know you can see the effect you can see the rooms certainly well illuminated but most importantly of course you can see the subject of your video is well illuminated and that's what you want you want to look the best so anyway there we go that is the ring light by Elgato that's the key light by Elgato both of these are very um, highly well really great professional lighting huge range of brightness huge range of color temperature um, control center software for your desktop and for your phone uh, compatible with the Elgato Stream Deck awesome lighting and um, yeah a, high, a lot of accessories a lot of options as we said with the ring light you can connect your phone to it or your camera uh, and work that way as well anyway thank you